Hey second grade, here is our large reading story for the week. It is in your large reading textbook on page 480. You will see this is also expository text, which means it's full of facts. It is nonfiction, not fake. You can already tell it's expository text because it states it on page 480, but also there's um, a picture with a caption that tells more information. And if you kind of take a picture walk here, you'll see there's also this table that talks about the Constitution and some more captions, also headings. And that also proves that this is expository text. Now today, our exit ticket is going to be what caused the framers to meet and write the Constitution. Let me go ahead and clear up a misconception, which is something that I had in second grade. The Constitution is not the same as the Declaration of Independence. In 1776 is when the Declaration of Independence was written. And that's what we learned about earlier this week. The Declaration of Independence is when we declared or we stated we are independent from England. It was a piece of paper that said, England, we are not going to follow your rules anymore. We're going to create our own rules. We're going to be our own country. Well, in 1787, there were some gentlemen who met in Philadelphia, which you learned before that that was the capital of the United States before Washington, D.C. was the capital. They met together and they decided, all right, well, we're our own country now, but we don't have any rules or any laws. We've always just followed other countries' laws, England's laws, okay? So the Constitution is something that they wanted to create because it is a paper full of America's laws. What was important for America? What did they want this country to be like? What rules did they want to include? And that's what the Constitution is. It's a piece of paper that tells the rights and the laws of the American people. So again, it's a piece of paper like the Declaration of Independence, but they did two different things. The Declaration of Independence came first. It declared that we are an independent country and we are not part of England anymore. After we decided that in 1776, we had quite a few years and in 1787 met again in Philadelphia, some gentlemen, and said, okay, now what? We need our own laws. We need to make sure our country um, is safe and well taken care of. And they are called the framers of the Constitution, the people who created it. Okay, I just wanted to clear that up, that that's two different documents, but they both were there to set um, our country started, to get our country started. Um, our exit ticket today, which is our focus of cause and effect, which is our reading skill we've talked about. Um, what caused the framers to meet and write the Constitution? Okay, why did they decide to do that? There's quite a few years, and if you take 1787 and you subtract 1776, you'll see how many years it took between the Declaration of Independence and the writing and the meeting of the Constitution. So what happened first that made these framers meet together to write the Constitution. They met and that was the effect, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. I've talked a lot. This is called setting the rules. The framers met in Philadelphia to form the rules for our country. Who came up with the rules for our country? Your parents vote. You can say what you think about a new law. People in your neighborhood can have a meeting. You are free to believe whatever you want. You can thank the Constitution for all of these things. In 1787, a group of men met in Philadelphia. They thought the country needed a better government because each state had its own rules. They wanted to create a united government that would work together. They decided to form a new set of rules called the Constitution. Everyone in the country would follow these rules. 
creating the Constitution. The writers of the Constitution included George Washington, Benjamin Franklin, James Madison, and other state leaders. They were called framers because they framed or planned the rules. All right, friends. So you know it's important all the time. Good readers are able to stop and think what they think is going to happen next or what are some predictions. So how do you think the framers formed the Constitution? I want you to think about that and kind of get some ideas in your mind that will help lead you to understand more later in the story. The framers didn't always agree. They often exclaimed loudly that they would not sign the new rules and make them official. Finally, after four months of debate, the framers agreed on the rules. The Constitution is now the highest law of the United States. It explains the rules of the country and it tells how our government works. It gives rights or privileges to all the people. The Constitution. The Constitution isn't just about our nation's past history or its current rules. The document has become a symbol. Like the American flag, it stands for freedom and liberty. You can see the Constitution at the National Archives Building in Washington, D.C. All right, and this is a photograph of the Constitution. Okay, and I noticed when I was listening and reading along, it said after four months of debate. So arguing back and forth, the framers of the Constitution, there was a lot of gentlemen who were a part of these meetings and they all believed different things. So there was a lot of debate or argument um, and what they wanted to include in this very important Constitution. Okay, and it is still around today in Washington, D.C. in the Archives Building. I was able to see it when I um, went on our Washington, D.C. trip when I was in middle school, and hopefully maybe that's something that you might enjoy when you get into Bath Middle School, I believe, when you are in 8th grade or ninth grade. I'm not for sure, but I want you to keep that in mind that these are really important symbols of American history, and we follow them Still today, in 2020, these Constitution rules and laws are all the way from 1787. So you can subtract and separate that information and find out how many years this Constitution has been around. Let's go ahead and continue. Adults have the right to vote. You have the right to say your ideas or express your opinions. We have the right to live safely in our homes. These rights are explained in the Constitution. Changing with Time Over time, the Constitution has changed. Some rules have been added to the original document to help make life better or safer for the public. The first ten rules added are called the Bill of Rights. They name the rights that belong to people in America. Another change gave women the right to vote. So far, there have been 27 changes to the Constitution. That's why it's known as a living document. It can be changed or updated at any time. You can also see the Bill of Rights at the National Archives Building in Washington, D.C. Okay, friends, so the Constitution is called a living document. Now, it's not really alive. We learned in science class about living and non-living things. But because it's able to change, that's why it has the nickname of a living document. Living things grow and change, and the Constitution can grow and change. There's been 27 changes to the Constitution. Back when it was written, women did not have the right to vote. They were not in the... Um, there were no framers that were women who had met originally to write the Constitution. Over time, history has changed so much that we often add or make little changes in the Constitution. And there is has been 27 changes. The most important or the most widely known change is the adding of the first 10 rules. And those first 10 rules are the Bill, um, the bill of Rights. And it is the right to... Um, tell your opinion, your right to vote, 
your right to live safely in your homes, um, really important rights and responsibilities. So I wanted to make sure that that was clear. That was added a little later, but very, very important. So again, I hope you understand the difference between the Declaration and the Constitution. Going back to focusing on the cause and effect, they're linked together. The cause is what happens first and the effect is what happens because of the cause. So when you fill out your exit ticket today, I want you to tell me the cause. It says, what caused the framers to meet and write the Constitution? And I think that's it. Make sure you cite text evidence and your page numbers where you found the answer. Thanks, guys. Bye.